Ist Weltmeister. Kevin Magnussen's defensive drive at the Jeddah Grand Prix has been a topic of discussion and I have my own take on it. You know, he was tagged with penalties and penalties of his own wrongdoings. First was a 10 second penalty for causing damage to Albon's car and another one was for uh, forcefully making a move on Sonoda by going off track. That second penalty, that 10 second felt a bit harsh, but I also heard that uh, it was a decision that was made during driver briefing at the start of the season where the drivers genuinely wanted the punishment or the penalty to be 10 seconds uh, for the car or the driver that took the advantage by forcing another car off track or made the move by going off track. So I guess we can't complain much about that then. With a 20 second penalty to his name and his teammate being ahead of him still having to pit, the team decided to slow down the pack behind Magnussen so that Hulkenberg could get a pit stop worth of lead over the pack behind so that the team and the driver could at least score a point out of the weekend. The argument from Haas for this strategy is that in a season like this where the top 5 are locking up the points paying positions, scoring a point like this like how they did in Jetta is like gold dust. And I do agree with this statement to a large extent. But my only fear is that every team from the bottom 5 may end up doing this same trick uh, in desperation of wanting to score a point out of the season. I think the progressive way of doing this is to show focus on improving their car across the season and for the future season to close the gap to the top 5. Though this strategy was entertaining to watch on a race that was otherwise pretty boring, I still think that this kills competitive racing. Where one driver becomes overly aggressive with the field and picks up all the penalties and lets the other driver score the point. Williams at the Jeddah Grand Prix clearly had the pace to score points, more so than Haas. But the early damage to Albon's car and Magnussen's blockage meant that moving further up the field was pretty much impossible. I do understand that this is all part of the sport and both the driver and team working together for the betterment of the team. But when you think about it, is this how we want to see the teams work around their lack of improvement to close the gap to the top teams? I don't. To score points by being overtly aggressive, pushing the other drivers off track, running them into the wall, giving them damages. I mean, this absolutely annihilates sportsmanship and competitive racing in the sport. And like how Sebastian Vettel said, are we going racing or are we playing ping pong? That's my big question here. Would you be happy with this being the new racing standard? Because I wouldn't be. I want to see fair racing, a clean one yet an intense battle between drivers on track. Not this. Though this was an absolute box office of a strategy masterclass from Haas, no denial on that. But this is also compromising the racing aspect of F1 which is known as the pinnacle of motorsports. Which means the racing standard should always be pretty high. I want teams to race fairly and for the teams to work on their car off track as well to close the gap to the front runners. I mean if a team fails to close the gap to the front runners even during a stable regulation like this then there is something fundamentally wrong with how the team is operating and with the decision making of the team. A stable regulation always allows the teams to understand their concept better and to have a better read of the highs and lows of their own car concept. That allows them to bring something innovative that can be an absolute game changer for them. So far some teams have made a step forward with their 2024 car season opener package compared to their car from last year's at this point. So yeah, that is my take on Haas' strategy masterclass and Magnussen's roadblock. I don't see anything wrong with it, but at the same time, I do believe that it destroys competitive and healthy racing in the sport. And let me know down in the comments on what is your take on this as well. I'm curious to know as everyone seems to have their own split opinion on this matter. So leave it down in the comments. With that being said, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the Rainmaster channel if you haven't already. Also hit the bell icon while you're at it so you get notified whenever I upload a brand new video. And until next time, it's me Vinesh from Rainmaster and I'm out. Love you guys. Stay safe. Peace.